and they move a different kind of movement video. Um, this is uh, avoidance movement, so bobbing and weaving and ducking and diving and keeping it a bit woke. <laughs> so I'm gonna have your guard up now. The key to for me, the key is keeping my knees bent all the time. If I if I end up locking out my legs when I when I when I do a technique or when I'm trying to move out of the way, now I've got to sort of it's I'm really off balance because my body's off kilter. Uh, I've kind of touched on this a little bit in other videos, but this is a full dedicated video to it. So knees are bent. That's the first part of it. Um, they're not too wide. You, you can have them wider if you want to have them wider, but I, I prefer them in just a little bit closer. So I look a little bit more, more natural. So if I was out and about, I wouldn't necessarily go fighting starts. <laughs> I'd, be out, I'd, be, I'd be standing like this, or standing like that if I didn't want any trouble. One leg in front, one leg back, but I'm not um, majorly you know, showing I'm going to fight someone. Anyway. So, in knees are bent. Now, because my knees are bent, now it gives more mobility to my hips, um, and, and that's how I'll move my head out of the way. If I, if I just lean my body like this, which is okay, now you should see my, my weight is over this side, so now if I get knocked, um, it's really easy to fall there. But if I'm here, my knees are bent, and I move my hip there, okay, now my, my weight is still on centre. Okay, and I can I can move nice and relaxed, still in that position. Now from this position I'm going like that, move my hip this way, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so number one, knees bent. Number two, try and keep your centre of gravity directly underneath you instead of directly forwards. So say if I'm if I'm if anyone's ducking and they go like this, okay, um, a it's hard to see the opponent from this position, and b. Your weight is pulling you this way, so you're going to be off balance again. So you want to make sure that if, if you're ducking, the knees bend, boom, and then you're twisting. See, now from this position, I can go forward, I can go backwards, and I'm still not off balance. So that's the next bit. And the other bit is where you're moving, moving backwards. So say if, if I'm from this position, I'm lean back like this. Okay, it's like, again, my weight is, is now sort of hanging here. It's not necessarily centered to my hips. Um, so to avoid that, um, I kind of touched on this uh, on, a, on a fairly recent video. Um, if, if I'm leaning forwards just a little bit, and I'm d just at their arm's reach, then say if they can, uh, they're hitting to, and they're expecting me to be here, because I'm leaning forwards, I can go back a little bit, now I'm upright, and then their, their full reach can't, can't get me. So, so I don't have to go all the way back like this. This is like an emergency, oh my god, I'm in trouble sort of thing. And if you do go back like this, you've got to shoot to try and upright yourself or, or, or step and change. So I'm here, my hips uh, are back a little bit because then my centre of gravity is directly in the middle because I'm leaning forwards here. This is where they're expecting me to be. I just move back here, boom, uh, and they haven't got me. And I can also parry the attack or use my forearms to, to knock it out of the way as well. You don't have to do these massive <laughs> movements. Um, keep it small. Uh, the smaller the better because you're not ex using so much energy to sort of do these really big movements. It's small. And it's, it's uh, quite demoralizing from the other person's perspective. If you're sparring someone, they're throwing everything, or you're throwing everything you've got at them, and they're just going beep, beep, beep. And they, you're not touching them. Uh, it's a great feeling. <laughs> okay, uh, let us know how you get on in the comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.